Stop what you're doing. For the last few days, we've been talking about understanding the voice of God. Number one, it should always line up with the word of God. Number two, it should make you more like Christ. And number three, it should conform to how God made you. So what's number four? Number four is this. Have you discussed what you think God told you to do with a church elder or someone who's more spiritually mature than you? Many times when we want to say God said do this or that, we are very careful not to get shared with somebody who may be more knowledgeable about the word, more, more, have more wisdom about the word than us. Why is that? Because we are afraid sometimes that it might be something that we want to do, but may not be the voice of God. So at all times, when you think God has said something, go to a senior person. Who, and I mean, when I say senior, I don't mean age-wise, but someone who's more, more spiritually mature than you. And run it by them. And let's see if it lines up with their spirit. The Bible tells us that from the mouths of two or three witnesses, let every word be confirmed. So if it's something that God truly said, when you speak to them about it, they're going to say, yeah, yeah, that sounds like God. Number one, does it line up with the word of God? Number two, does it make you more like Christ? Number three, is it how God made you? Number four, does it pass the smell test? Have you shared it with a senior person or an elder in the church or someone more spiritually mature than you? With that being said, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you in this moment thanking you for your word. We thank you, dear God, because you speak to us. One such as us, with all of our flaws, with all of our fallibilities, you find time to get a word to us. So, dear God, it's my prayer that the person on the other side of this, this device, that they hear your word and heed to your word. Let your word come to clearly, dear God, that they may hear your voice and follow it to what and doing what you would have them to do in the earth realm. My God, my King, and my Deliverer, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. My friends, if you have not given your heart to Christ, this is your moment. Type in the comment section below, I want to be saved. And me or a member of our team will reach out to you today. I love you. God love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Be blessed, my brother. Be blessed, my sister. Go with God. Listen for his voice. Shh. And follow what he says to do. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> you can go back to your scroll now. Bye-bye.